Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I've got a tip today on a bait that had a lot of attention earlier this year when it first came out, but we have not heard much about it since. But I want to give you my take on it and kind of talk to you about where I think it's a valuable bait and where I may not use it. Uh, before I get into this specific bait, I do want to remind you guys that if you're looking to purchase tackle or hunting gear or outdoor gear, head over to my description, hit the link for therealshot.com, and if you end up purchasing anything there, use the discount code STEFAN10 to save 10% off your orders. It really helps the channel out, and you guys get a little bit better price on some, on some outdoor gear and tackle. It works out for everybody. So earlier this year, or towards the end of last year, one of the hottest baits that we heard about was the uh, Z-Man Chatterbait Stealth, or the Stealth Chatterbait. And we all know how awesome the chatterbait is and the the jackhammers and you know those products are all really good depending you know no matter what company you use or you prefer it seems like most companies have a uh, chatterbait style bait well the jackhammer stealth came out last year and the difference was the lip on that being you know some sort of clear plastic or whatever material it is to really limit the amount of flash and give it more of a finesse approach. You know, whereas the standard jackhammer comes with a metal lip that may be painted, may just be the straight metal color and throws off a ton of vibration and a, and a ton of flash. The idea behind this was to limit that and make it more of that finesse style, like I said. So I've had a year now to play around with it and try it and utilize it. And I definitely believe that there are times and places I prefer to throw this bait or I like throwing it, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that this bait will replace the jackhammer or whatever other vibrating jig that you prefer. I truly do not like it as much. But having said that, in clear water presentations, I have done really well on it. Uh, it seems like it's just something that gives those fish a much more tight wobbling bait and is not as erratic or as loud and abrasive as the regular jackhammer would be. Um, you know, I would compare it to say, you know, if you were throwing a vibrating jig like the jackhammer versus a scrounger head, a scrounger head has a much tighter wobble, a tighter wobble versus something that's more wide and going all over. This to me mimics like a scrounger head wobble really well, like a tight wobbling minnow bait. It's just not something that's really crazy. It would be like a, a shad wrap crankbait versus a wiggle wart. You know, it's, it's just a completely different feel and vibration. But because of that, like I said, if you're fishing super clear water presentations, I kind of like that. What I also like about it is it doesn't throw the flash that you would get with a normal vibrating jig when the sun's out. So I do like throwing this bait when the sun's out because it does not give you that same crazy, super bright flash that you may get off your metal blades. Uh, really, uh, that's one of the, the big keys to it, in my opinion. For me, it's more of an open water bait. You know, it still runs through grass and you can still make it pretty weedless. But this is more of like that open water bait schooling type bait where you know you're trying to fish the middle part of the water column versus bring it through lots of heavier cover uh, i had a lot of luck fishing around docks with it still you know so there are areas where you can throw this in place of the other vibrating jigs but i truly think it shines in the in the clear water suspended fish and on sunny days and I will definitely be using this moving forward, um, but it's not gonna replace the other vibrating jigs in my tackle box. So I've got a little bit of footage here in the water just so you can see how tight it is. You know, it's hard to see because it really is a bait that you can feel it vibrating still, but it's not like a normal uh, chatterbait jackhammer, you know, where the rod is just, I mean, it's just kind of like real tight and it's got, you know, a totally different feel to it. So hopefully you can see it here in the video footage and uh, you can get an idea of how this is different than the other vibrating jigs that are on the market. But I do think it is a bait that's worthy of being in the tackle box, uh, especially if you like fishing clear water areas, then I really would say you need to have one or two. 
So let's switch over to the, the river. All right, so there's the jackhammer stealth. No trailer to show no drag from the trailer. I just want to show what the bait can do. In this case, you can see it's got significantly less vibration. It is much more confined. Still has good vibration that you can you can feel in the rod tip, but it's not going to have that crazy side to side wiggle. It would almost be like throwing a balsa minnow versus say a you know a wide wobbling crankbait. It's definitely still has applications, but does not have that same power movement you'd necessarily throw.